Yo, welcome back everybody to a brand new Pokemon TC Live Twilight Master Raid deck video. And today we're going to be looking at the Bugs, the Arachnophobia deck. That is going to be Spide Ops with Aerials. Both these two Pokemon do synergize nicely together because they make your opponent's retreat cost extremely fat. So, of course, Spide Ops, we've done a video on this card multiple times. It does have a really cool ability, Trap Territory. Your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost is one colorless more, making it really hard for the opponent to move out of the active spot, of course. And you allow yourself to do more damage with Wire Hang for two energy. You can do 90 plus 30 more damage for each colorless in your opponent's active retreat cost, making your Spide Ops be able to do some big damage when you stack multiple Spide Ops. The X into play. But there's another way to increase retreat now. We have the new area dose of course with big net your opponent's active evolutions for street cost becomes one colorless more really helpful against any evolving deck you might run into on the ladder like gardevoir dragapult charizard's already a pretty good matchup but when you can apply a lot of extra retreat on the charizard you can actually then kill the charizard almost with area dose which could make a big difference in that matchup and that's what we're working with today another cool upgrade is the ogre pond um, it allows you to have a kind of a mini John Jin, but you can also attack with it, and you can also use its ability with Energy Switch to you power up your Spide Ops. Because at the end of the day, Spide Ops does have an attack that requires two energy, meaning you have to attach attack. So it's nice to have the ability to like power it up a little bit with the Teal Mask Ogre Pond and the Energy Switch combo. Bug at Catching Set is also fantastic in here. It's a great way to find your Grass Pokemon and Energy. It's just another consistency support card for grass decks and since we're all in on the grass pokemon it is nice having that bug catching set in the deck to help you out a little bit more and uh, this is the list i work with in today's video for my arachnophobia deck as i like to call it the spite ops Aridos deck before we do get the video shout to the sponsor card cavern tcg of course if you're gonna get any pokemon tcg live pack outs get them over at card cavern card comes those codes line for the cheapest so if you're looking for of course the main set twilight masquerade or an older set or you want to get some irl tcg singles product and all that stuff card cavern does sell all that over there if you get anything at card cavern at the checkout use my discount code code ldf for a five percent discount on your order help the channel help yourself out and up a card cavern so shut a card cavern check them out use code ldf link down below check out my second channel down below for some extra content too i do post a lot of extra content over there and i just did a video where i talked about my well my Dragapult Charizard deck that I've won three tournaments in a row with a League Cup, a League Challenge, and a local tournament. So definitely check out my second channel down below if you haven't already for that extra bit of content from me. But here is the list we're playing in today's video. Um, like I said, we're all in on the grass Pokemon. We're not really playing anything else in the deck. I maybe consider playing like a, a Blood Moon or Saloon on the deck for some extra power. But I think overall it's fine. We got the Aerados. We got the Spide Ops. It's all in on the Retreat plays. Um, I guess some changes you could make to the list. I'm not playing Calamitous Wasteland. You could probably add one if you want i don't know what you would cut maybe you can cut down on the area dose line a little bit going down to like a 2-2 two -two area dose so yeah i think you should maybe add a calamitous wasteland or two in here maybe even play an extra energy you could also play more energy switch you could play superior retrieval those are all options of cards i do want to add within the deck i am playing the double counter catcher double boss because our deck can lean into the ability to trap stuff in the active we can play a little bit heavier of gusts i also have a pal pad in the deck uh, we don't really have like a draw engine there's no bibrol in the deck or anything um, I know, big shocker, right? Um, but we have the Ogre Pond, and I like having Pal Pad to help you a little bit more in the late game. I added Unfair Stamp for my A spec. I don't know what the best A spec is. I think Unfair Stamp's kind of cool. Being able to, like, go Counter Catcher, Unfair Stamp, trap something in the active spot seems kind of appealing. So that's why we are playing the Unfair Stamp, because it could be really good in combination with the trap stall plays we can make with Spide Ops and Counter Catcher and stuff like that in the deck. Um, that's what I'm working with buddy pop and bug catching set gives you some pretty good search so we're just playing two ultra ball and one nest ball since we have decent search options already in the deck let's go show off my spite ops area dose deck in action on live and see what it's all about all right going first here we're against maridon all right we do need a basic off this bug catching set or a top deck or else we may just lose to a donk let's see uh, does get a spinner rack all right there we go we got two basics that's all i asked for let's go all right. Thankfully, we got a basic. If we didn't get a basic there, it would have been Jover for sure. It would have been uh, would have been pretty bad if we didn't get a basic. So let's see if my opponent is able to do. Ideally, my Tarantula doesn't get KO'd. Yeah, I don't want my Tarantula to die. So hopefully they don't knock out my guy here. There's Raichu. Raichu could be kind of scary because they can one-shot me. Hmm. We'll see, though. It's down whether or not they find the generators. There's Squawkabilly. All right, there's another Nest Ball. Pretty good starting hand. Two Nest Balls and a Maridon. Okay, there's Mew. So the entire board is now two prizes. So there's no Iron Bundle or anything coming down, which is good. Hmm. Why not? Sure, let's be playing Catchers too. Thankfully, it flips Tails. Would not have appreciated him gusting my poor Tarantula up. Bravery Charm on the Iron Hands. That's fine. 
All right, let's see what they're able to do here. Can they find a knockout this turn? They could amp me here. They got a DTE. Now they just need an electric generator and a way to move Raikou, and they have it. It's a little spooky. Oh, there's Arvin. That can get generator, and it can get rescue board, which can allow them to do, do the play they want to make, which is a little spooky. But let's see. They got Super Rod. Putting the energy back. All right, all right. Can they hit the double energy? Even if they ammy here, though, I can knock them out with Spite Ops. They only got one energy. That's good. They can Fleet Footed. Can they find another electric generator? They need another one here to knock me out. They don't have it. Let's go. All right, what do we draw? Another energy. Okay. So we got the Spite Ops, which is good. Uh, low key, though, I don't really want to get rid of my hand. I could boss something up here. Hmm. Maybe we just play the Iono. Mm, I don't want to play Iono, though. They didn't really do much with their hand, right? I don't want to research. I might lose my unfair stamp, though. I need to build my board up. Am I really doing the play? I think I have to research. I'm not going to play the vacuum because I actually want the bravery charm. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> this is definitely net. definitely a hand. All right. Yeah, I didn't want to vacuum there because I want them to keep the bravery charm on. I don't want them to put a heavy baton on their hand. So whatever. Keep the, keep the bravery charm. I don't really care. Unfortunate whiff there on another supporter. I don't know. Maybe I should have Iono them. But like. The problem with playing Iono there is that they didn't really do much with their hand on that previous turn. Like, I don't want to give them more cards that they didn't have as much in their hand other than just the Arvin and the and the Generator. You know what I mean? So there's, like, no point of playing the Iono. I don't want to give them six new cards. Though I kind of wanted to keep the Unfair Stamp in the deck, obviously. It is what it is. Do they have a boss? Nope. Okay. I mean, we have a KO. We're actually doing a lot of damage here with Spite Ops. I do need to find a, um, I want to find Ariados so I can try to get the retreat cost even bigger. The bigger the retreat, the better. Nope, another spinner rack. We have a lot of spiders on the board. Our entire board is only about spider Pokemon, which is pretty awesome. We're doing 300 damage. Jeez. Um, I guess. I don't really, yeah, sure. Bench spinner rack. All right. Knockout. And uh, let's see what our two prizes are here. Hopefully, we can find a supporter. Let's see. One and three. What do you got for me? Found an Ogre Pond. To be fair, I feel like at this point, I don't really want to put Ogre Pond into play. I can't bench it, but I don't want to give him an easy boss target because they've already taken the first two prizes. It's probably for the best we don't use Ogre Pond. If I absolutely have to, I'll bench it and try to draw cards, but it's fine. Four seal stone. Unfortunately for my opponent, <laughs> their free retreat Mew has a three retreat cost. So they don't really have a good way to move Mew at the moment, which is kind of hurting them here. And their generator fails. That's what I like to see. Now well, they found a fourth generator. That's kind of crazy. This one does hit energy. How many energy are they hitting though? Only one. It's not going to do it. I don't know what my opponent can do re really right now. They've only got one energy in play off that generator. That was their last electric generator okay they still have blood moon or saluna but that only does 240 that's like their only other like attacker that can realistically work and they're still powering up that hands if i had a boss here it'd be cooking this mew has a three retreat cost so i can't even retreat at the moment nothing is a free retreat pivot at this point so like i don't know we'll see they could have like they could have a prime catcher here or something and i mean that's pr even if they prime catcher they're not doing any damage this turn it looks like yeah, they just pass. Iono top deck? Yeah, I'll take an energy switch. It's not too bad. We can knock out the Mew in one hit, which is pretty lit. Spite Ops? We, uh, who needs Ariados when freaking Spite Ops does all the work anyways? And they scoop it up. Yo, let's go. Yeah, Maridon, honestly, as long as you get past the setup phase, I this matchup's actually good because you can shut off their Fur Treaters. Iron Hands is really thick. Like... It's not that bad at all. And they can't one-shot Spite Ops without using Raichu. All right, we hit Reggie Drago going second here. I actually think this matchup is fine thanks to Reggie Drago having a three retreat cost. So if we can flood the board with bugs, we can definitely do a lot of work. Going second, though, does put us at a disadvantage if they get turned to Dragapult, though, which is a little bit of a concern. That's the only issue with this matchup is they have Dragapult. But if we can get over that, I mean, this matchup isn't bad, I don't think. Just Dragapult is kind of a 
bit of a cheesy issue we have to deal with. All right, they vet, and of course, they had Dragon Bolt in their hand. Why not? Uh, no, not like this, bro. We have to research here, I think. Ideally, we hit an Ogre Pawn off of Bug Catching Set. That'd be nice. Let's see what else they have here. Just a pass. Yeah, we need to be going first, not second in this matchup. That ultimately could decide the fate. And unfortunately, this bug catching set gets us nothing useful. Crap. All right, research it is. Unfortunate. Okay. We got an unfair stamp, which is good. Hmm. Need more bugs. All right, let's buddy poffin for these two. We'll play the bug catching set. Unfortunately, don't get an ogre pawn. Ah, uh, it's not good. The thing I'm scared of here is my opponent has turn two Pult. They can just KO the Tarantula that I attach the energy to. And I need to find energy switch combo, but I'm down energy switch. This is why I wanted an Ogre Pawn there. All right, we'll see if my opponent has the knockout. I mean, they need to attach energy switch. It's not looking good. They may have a research or, you know, their hand could be dead. They could have a complete dead hand. You never know. That's the goal. If their, their hand isn't very good, maybe we can make things work. We need those bug catching sets to be a bit better, though, like I said. I mean, we got the spite ops for next turn, which is very important, but not having a good way to protect ourselves from Dragapult cheese is uh, pretty bad. The best thing we can do is if they do knock me out here, we can try to find a counter catcher stamp and we can trap something in the active spot, which actually could work. So there is still some room to come back. I still like how my opponent just completely destroys my setup. That's the issue. The fact they can so easily just ruin my setup is the problem. It just kind of is a matter of a coin flip against these V-Star decks. There's nothing you can do about it. All right, we'll see if they can find this turn to Drago. I mean, even if they don't get it, my hand isn't, like, fantastic or anything. I don't have a supporter. I have a stamp, which I can't even use. So, like, I'm kind of still stuck. I'm going to Ariados. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully my opponent doesn't have it like that. Ooh, Ogre Pong. Do they have a... Ooh, do they have Prime Catcher here? Jamming Tower, that's fine. If they go Ogre Pawn Knockout, we can go Unfair Stamp. Which isn't a bad response. They are going boss. But how they move in the Drago, though? They need a switch. They're bringing my other Tarantula. Okay. I'm okay. Actually, I don't mind them not knocking out Area Dose. It gives me more abilities to work with. I'm surprised they didn't bring in the one with the energy on it. I guess they're scared they're going to whiff. Okay, this means they don't have anything, which is good. They could obviously draw into the Prime Catcher, which is a little spooky. That's a good Tails. That might have been a very game-deciding heads, to be honest with you. That obviously would have grabbed the V-Star. Okay. I still don't really have anything in the hand, though. It's, this isn't great or anything. It's not like I have, like, the best hand on the planet, but I can make it work for now. If I can draw an Energy Switch, I can attack with the uh, Spite Ops. Do they have another Energy in their hand for this Ogre Pawn? Let's see. I just need to get bugs in play before they cripple my setup. They pass. I don't even do their first attack. Interesting. It's not what I'm looking for, but at least we can put some bugs into play. The question is, do I evolve my active or my benched? Honestly, it may not even matter. Okay, we should probably pal pad here. I mean, does it really matter? If I've, I mean, they're just going to go drag up hold anyways, right? I don't think it makes too much of a difference. Would I evolve? I really don't think it matters what I evolve here. They could still whiff the attack, though. So I guess, theoretically, we should evolve the active, I, I guess. Hopefully I'm right about this. Because the problem is now they can just go drag up, hold, knock out Tarantula. There's not much I can do. We need to find our own Ogre Pawn. So let's see what happens. Four cards in hand. And they also still need to get the attack. I mean, if they find a V-Star, they can probably do it. Let's see what they got, though. I mean, as soon as they do KO me, we have Unfair Stamp. And there is the Drago, unfortunately. We did survive the second turn, though, which is actually pretty good. The issue with playing against these V-Star decks is, like, if you go second, you're at a disadvantage. Oh, they have Giratina V-Star. That's not good. That could be a bit of a problem, actually. They still need to find a lot of cards here to power up the Drago. They could have a pretty bad Legacy Star. You never know. I don't really have high hopes in that, but you never know. If we had a better hand here, we could have went a little bit more off because we would have been able to get another Spite Ops in play and protect ourselves from Dragapult. That's like ultimately the biggest issue with a setup deck like this is Dragapult, right? Because all of our Pokemon have like 50 HP, 60 HP. Like, what do you want me to do? 
I mean, the good thing is Dra uh, Reggie Drago has a five retreat cost thanks to Ariados and Spider Ops. Okay, I need them to whiff the attack here. It's not looking likely. They have a really good hand slash setup here thanks to Mew. Yeah, they have a lot. They're probably going to get the attack. I'd be very shocked if they didn't attack me here. This is kind of an issue because, yeah, they're going to kill my Tarant. They're going to kill the Spite Ops and the Tarantula on the bench, which is pretty annoying. Ooh, hold up. That Legacy Star was not very good. They got no supporter cards. Okay, wait a minute. There may be a chance after all. None of those are supporters. They got Vessel. They can use Vessel to try to draw into more energy. There's no en Yeah, they got to do that. Okay, wow. Hold up. I'm surprised there was no research off of that Legacy Star. Unless they already drew into one off the Mew. I mean, they could still theoretically get there, but there's no supporter and no energy switch. If they whiff the attack, we might have bought ourselves another turn. The problem is I still don't really have a great hand. I'm still stuck with an unfair stamp. I did Palpad. Which could increase my odds of drawing into a supporter, but we'll see. All right, what did they grab? I think it was, what, boss? Boss retrieval? Really? They didn't grab the vessel? Let's say have energy in their hand. I'm surprised they didn't get Vessel there. Wouldn't it just be better to go Vessel? Assuming you already have energy in your hand or not. I don't know. Hmm. This is kind of awkward. Because, like, them with the attack is good. I just, honestly, in fairness, getting them to attack is not bad for us. Because at least we can play the unfair stamp. So it's we're kind of in a weird spot where it's like, low-key, I want them to attack. But I don't at the same time. Because I don't like them being able to knock out my low HP Pokemon super easily. But at the same time, I need to play the game if they take a knockout. This is, like, kind of weird, bro. Okay, let's see what they do. Can they attack here? They need double energy switch. That's why I don't know. Like, if they... I'm surprised they didn't grab the vessel, right? Because you can grab the vessel, and then you can thin the deck out two more cards. I don't know. Okay, they got an Iono, which at the very least is not a research. I am fine with an Iono. That gives me six cards, which is pretty good. Let's see what the Iono gives me. Eh, it's okay. Let's see if my opponent gets the knockout this turn with Dragapult. They can still rip a double energy switch here. It's still possible. Hmm. Let's see if they can do it. Grass energy. The odds are pretty high. I mean, if they whiff energy switch, I would be actually just shocked. Nah, no way, right? Ultra Ball. They've already mewed. There's no way they don't have energy switch, right? Let's see. They're Ultra Balling. Maybe, okay, so I think what happened was they mewed into the Iono... And they wanted the boss retrieval back in their deck. So I think that's what happened, actually, off the Legacy Star. Now I'm, now I'm taking what I said back. Because they weren't bricking. They did have the Iono. I think they muted into Iono. Noivern, that's fine. Hmm. What's Bro cooking? I mean, they got to have it, right? Unless they prized a couple energy switch, I would imagine they hit it. They thinned seven cards, plus they just drew six off the Iono, plus three off the Mew. There's no way they did not find one of their four energy switches, right? If they did whiff it, obviously, I want them to whiff it, but I doubt it. They definitely found energy switch. They've only, they haven't played one. There's no way. Oh, my God. What? Sure. I mean, we got to take what we can get, right? Um, Just get more spiders. We can vessel here. Grab some energy. Okay, let's see. Teal dance. Help me out. What do you got for me, Ogre Pond? Buck catching set? Sure. Nice. There we go. There's a Spite Ops. I was going to Ultra Ball for it, but this works too. Attach. Research. Okay, we got Unfair Stamp for next turn. We're not knocking them out, though. Ooh. No knockout is actually not great. We do leave them a 10 HP left, but it doesn't really matter. That's a pretty annoying knockout whiff. We need more bugs. One more bug does allow us to KO them. We are down the Ariados, but we'll see. We need one more bug to knock out this Reggie Drago. Because Ariados um, would apply that extra retreat, I think. Yeah. All right, let's see what they do. Obviously, they have the attack. But the question is, will they go Giratina or Dragapult? So they knock me out. We can stamp. I could go Counter Catcher KO Mew. With unfair stamp, I feel like that's just irrelevant. They've also like played no research, so I think we just kill the active plus stamp and pray. We'll see how much energy they can put on the board this turn. 
They still need to build up the other Drago. They're down to six energy. We know they took their retrieval back. I wouldn't be surprised if they had a research this turn, right? Because they haven't seen one yet. There's like no way they don't have a research. How much does this guy do? Put two energy on, not enough to kill. Damn, one bug short. Unfortunate. Had we maybe had a bit of a better uh, board before, we probably could have KO'd them. So yeah, we were one bug off. No, Niono. There goes my unfair stamp. Rip. It's annoying. They're playing the Ionos now, though, instead of the end of the game, which is good. And we got an Iono, which, I mean, it's the poor man's unfair stamp. Honestly, not a bad hand. We hit Spite Ops, which is good. If they don't if they don't Dragapult here, we do have Spite Ops. The problem with them going Dragapult is they're not killing the thing. They actually probably have to go Giratina. Hmm. If I find Counter Catcher, I could knock out a Reggie Drago on the bench. Not sure about that. Okay, let's see if they take a prize this turn or not. That's why I want to know. Are they going to take a prize here? Let's see. We could still theoretically lose this game because of the Giratina being an attacker. They play Tina and Bull, which is interesting. Seems maybe a little overkill, but okay. I mean, it works for my opponent, probably. Yeah, let's see if they go Tina. Voice crack. Let's see if they go Tina or Raging Bolt. Hmm. Yeah, not killing the V-Star there is really unfortunate. 10 HP left. All right, here we go. Apex Dragon. Are they going to KO me or are they going to go Dragapult? They could go Dragapult. They can knock out Tarantula and then put one on Ogre Pond so they can kill that with another Dragapult attack. Or they can take the knockout on the Spite Ops here and now. Let's we'll see what they end up doing. So my logic is, because I haven't played a research yet, I feel like they prized a couple. So when I play the Iono, I'm hoping that I don't give them a research because they're probably going to get a research off the prizes. So they do take the knockout. Okay. Which is fine. Hmm. Still need more bugs. We can rod here, though, which is good. Get our stuff back. I right, see if they are able to get rid of here. Two on the active. Ooh, okay. So this gives me an idea. If I find Counter Catcher, I am down to go after the Ogre Pawn. Because then I wipe out a ton of energy off the board. I can punish them pretty hard for doing that, actually. How much would Spite Ups be doing? 120. I need... I don't have a knock it on the Ogre Pawn, actually. But I can counter catch a KO a Drago, maybe. I guess I could have brought in my own Ogre Pawn, but I'd rather the Spite Ops be in the active, but yeah, maybe maybe that's a bit of a misplan in my end, actually. Okay, let's Teal Dance. See what we got here. Okay. Super Rod. I want to try to get the Ariados. Should I just get another Ogre Pond into play? No, I need the Spite Ops. I need to be able to one-shot Drago at some point. So I kind of probably have to do this. All right, Bucket Chain set. All right, nice. Got the Ariados. All right, Niono. Oh, oh, yeah, I don't think I can kill the Ogre Pond. If I could, that'd be nice. I think I'm one off. Ooh, we hit the Counter Catcher 2. But yeah, like I said, I can't kill the Ogre Pond. Right? Am I tripping? No, I think I can actually, right? One. So 120, 150. Because if I can kill Ogre Pond here, I think we have a good chance of winning this game. I did it switch, but I've already attached. Hold on. 120, 50, 180. I'm, I can't kill Ogre Pond, unfortunately. So maybe what we do instead is I KO this guy. This I'm down to do. We can stamp. Okay. Take out this guy. This forced them to find the double energy switch. And then they're going to attack either with a heavily damaged Drago or one that is also going to maybe get KO'd. All right, let's see what our two prizes are here. Energy switch and Aridos. Pretty solid, pretty solid prizes. Not bad. Well, I don't have another spinner act, but this energy switch is really good. That's definitely what I wanted. I know they have Mew in play. Nothing I can really do about that, but that's fine. See, I'm pretty sure I was just short on the knockout, right? Because that's a one retreat cost. So I'm only be doing 120, 150, 180. Yeah, I was one if I can kill the if I could kill the ogre pawn there, I think we probably could have won the game. I just can't kill the ogre pawn. So my opponent can still do stuff. They can still take two prizes this turn with a potential energy switch combo. 
but then how do they go from there? So that's why I think it was correct to just go around the Reggie Drago. There's like no reason to kill the active. And they haven't played a research yet. Though I did Iono potentially research the bottom of the deck, and then I stamped them, so we'll see how that goes. We'll see, we'll see. They haven't played Prime Catcher yet or anything. I, they could still win this game. Honestly, they could go Dragapult, and if I don't... Well, they have to knock out a... They have to take a prize this turn, though, because I'm one trying their Dragos. So, okay, we'll see how this goes. Because they could take a four prize turn on my guys, but they promote Mew. Oh, no. Are they not... Did they go AFK? Because there's no way you promote Mew in this situation, unless you're going Prime Catcher. What's going on? Did my opponent just misplay... I'm right, about to find out. They promoted Mew. But they've taken forever to do an action. I have a bad feeling they went AFK. Hopefully, that's not the case. And hopefully, my unfair stamp sticks if they are playing and they can't attack my my bugs here. Okay, they are playing. Okay, just making sure. I was worried for a sec because they took a while to do an action there. And I'm like, are you sure you want to promote the Mew? So I didn't want their game to like freeze on them or something. Ooh, the Ogre Pond goes inactive. Okay. Interesting. Can they take a KO this turn? That was the question. The promotion of the Mew is strange, because, like, you, now you have to play Switcher Prime Catcher. And that's also a boss, not a research. That tells me they don't have the ability to shuffle. Or that tells me they have they, they, they can't attack this turn, judging from this play. No, they hit Energy Switch. They have Mew still. They need to find Switch plus Energy or Energy Switch to attack here. Even if they KO me, we can just go knock out Drago in one hit with Spide Ops. Because they're not knocking out any of the bugs. They're not taking away my damage. I'm not boss, though, unfortunately. If I had boss in this hand, it'd be pretty good. There's one of the discard. I'm down both my counter catchers, which I can't even play. I mean, we can kill the Mew, though, which honestly gets the job done, too. Because of the way their energy is laid out, they are powering up the Drago that already has the damage on it. Which means I could literally just kill with friggin' Bind Down if I had to. Or even, you know, Aerodos can knock it out. A one energy attacker could KO it. I don't see a Gudra. Gudra could be kind of annoying in this matchup, I guess, but we'll see. All right, there's the Ogre Pawn. They got the energy. But will they be able to get a switching card? This is why I'm confused as to why they promoted Mew. I feel like they... I think they misplayed. Or they forgot about Spide Ops' ability. I don't know, because they can not retreat Mew. Mew has a two retreat cost at the moment. I want to try to evolve this Tron chill if I can. Nice, they whiffed. All right, what do we draw? Yo, the top deck. Literally, I said I wanted to evolve it, and look what we drew. Okay, cool. We can just switch. We have a knockout, so that's pretty good. I only have two cards left in the deck. I mean, I do need more energy, but I don't want to have two cards left. So I think we have to play it safe and just kill the Mew here. I can't really afford to research my hand away. All right. Well, maybe I could have researched. Maybe it was okay. I, I Honestly, I don't remember what's in the deck. Not going to lie. I kind of forgot what I have left in the deck. So I've already played my Super Rod, right? So I don't want to, like, get rid of that or anything. I think we're fine. Even if the Ogre Pawn KOs me, we can go with our Ogre Pawn and KO them. Maybe I should have Energy Switched. Because they're down both Ionos. Maybe I shouldn't have played the Energy Switch, actually. I think I should have held on to it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we have left in the deck. I think we'll be okay. If I get boss, I just win two and kill this guy. I could promote Ariados for the turn as an attacker, as a one prizer. Their Mew is now gone, making our Iono even stronger here. So that's good. Okay, they got the Retrieval. They only got one energy to discard. <laughs> this is like barely even value. And they maybe not even, they maybe don't have the research. Their Mew is gone, so like they can't restart. They can kill dance for one singular card. Okay, there's a research in their hand. But they're down another boss. I didn't play Prime Catcher yet, though. Just kind of grief. Okay, they do have... They most likely have research in their hand. Judging from the thing there. And they can't go Drago because I just win by attacking them if they went... If I go Dra if they go Drago. So they'd have to go Ogre Pond this turn. Do I have two energy in the deck still? Four, seven, I think so. Hopefully we have two energy left in the deck. I'll promote the Ogre Pond just in case. Because I have two energy, I can just kill the active if that's what they're attacking me with. All right, what's in their hand? They 
Gotta kill. I mean, if they kill the Ogre Pawn, then Spite Ops does only 180. So technically, they can. No, we knock him out. I'm trolling. We're doing 210. Whoa, Silene. Okay, that's fine. It's not like they can draw into what they put back. And they got Double Tails anyways, bro. That's insanity. F in the chat. Does the Ogre Pawn even KO me? I. I don't I'm not even gonna bother counting. It's either doing 240 or 270. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, whatever. You know, it's the same thing. Yeah, I just wish I knew what I had left in the deck. If they do have a KO here, we do need two energy to knock him out. If they don't knock me out, Spite Ops just does 210 and knocks him out. They could hard retreat, but then I mean, I don't know. The hard retreating doesn't really accomplish anything, right? So I think they're cooked. Yo, the bugs, baby, the bugs. That's kind of crazy, dude. This thing has an 8 retreat cost. It's crazy. All right, let's see what they got. What's their plan? They can retreat. I don't think that's a good idea. They have to give up 3 energy. I think they just attack. I, it, just might, it might just be game. They, they may just have nothing to work with. They don't even attack me. Okay, sure. All right. 210 damage on the dot. That's the dub. Let's go. GG's. Definitely an interesting match. Um, I mean... Going first is better than going second, and Reggie Drago has a three retreat. You can actually increase your damage quite a bit with Ariados and Spite Ops. The problem is, them going first, having Draga pulled, is what makes it sketchy. Um, but I think we did everything. We were 10 off of a KO earlier, which is kind of sad too, but whatever. We're up against Future Box. Uh, honestly, this is not even a bad matchup. It's actually ideal we open Tarantula. Now, do I want to bucket just her Nest Ball first? I think first things first, we'll Ogre Pawn before we thin. I just need to get Bugs in play. We need to get... Basically, just Tarantula. Yeah, Spite Ops is in Tarantulas. Bucking set first. Now, I was hoping for another Tarantula there. That sucks. Or Buddy Puff. Well, I can't get Buddy Puff. I don't know what I'm saying. We just want to get Spite Ops in play as soon as possible because we can one shot their guys. It's unfortunate that they are going second, but it is what it is because they're going to kill my Tarantula. We do have a Spite Ops in response, so it's not too bad. It's okay. We can, like,. Maybe we can find unfair stamp if they knock me out. We'll see. Even Ogre Pawn's a really good attacker in this matchup because it can one it can one shot the Iron Hands. All right, here we go. Worst case scenario, they kill the Tarantula with the energy, and I don't find energy switch. That would suck. All right, let's see if they can do this turn with the Techno Radar. But we should be fine. I mean, Iron Hands is a fat Pokemon. You can one shot it pretty easily. Ariados isn't as effective in this matchup, unfortunately. Um, but it is what it is. We're not playing an evolution based deck. Just kind of happens. They can amp this turn. That'd be. I mean, if they amp me, as long as they can, we can KO them back. It's not a big deal. Do they have an energy? What's in their hand? Arvin. If they don't actually, mm, depending on what they have, actually, they might not have an energy here. This might be an arm press angle if they have to go Jenny. No, heavy baton. Hmm. Do they not have the knockout? They might have whiffed energy. Actually, it's possible. No, okay, there's an energy in their hand. But then, their hand would be energy baton then. Oh, why can't I Iono them then? That feels bad. Is their hand energy baton? It's gotta be. There's no way you get rid of an energy and not do Marion's attack, right? That's silly. Yeah. Oh, I can't play Iono. It's actually kind of annoying. I need to play Iono because I need to draw cards. I don't want to give them six new cards. Especially if they're bricking. But to be fair, does it even matter? Because they already have the heavy baton on their hands. And I do want to try to get the vacuum. Actually, I didn't really prize check. I didn't really see if it's in the deck. I'm not too sure. Unless we can draw a counter catcher here, boss or something. Nope. Let me Ogre Pond first, see what we get. Another Ogre Pond? Okay, let's go. Hallelujah. I don't got I own another one card hand. Assuming they don't sack and get a research. But that's fine. Ooh, we hit counter catcher. Um. Okay, we'll Vessel the Thin so I can Bucket and said I gotta find my bugs here. I gotta get more spiders into play. Damn it. I haven't found a Buddy Poffin yet either, which is kind of annoying. Oh, I don't even have a Knockout. Wait. Oh, yeah, the Future Booster Capsule. Forgot about that. Uh, huh. Yeah, I forgot about Future Booster Capsule. I could kill the other Iron Hands here. Hmm. Bring this up, I guess. Sure. I want to take prizes. We'll just knock this thing out. They can Maridon again, but whatever. Actually, yeah, 
Yeah, that's fine. We can still use Ogre Pond as an attacker, too. It's not just Spite Ops. All right, those prizes are mediocre. I was looking for more bugs. I think I prized a Tarantula. Again, you need to find Poffin or something. They actually go into the hands. See if they can KO me here. I mean, they have two cards. They have to draw, like, a Research or an Iono to, like, be effective, I think. We'll see what they got. Yeah, I think KO in the hands there was correct, because then they can't do as much. They could be playing Thorns, which would be a little scary, because then I, actually my abilities just doesn't work if they have Thorns. Oh, they had Radar. That's pretty good. Oh, God. Is that a Knockout? I think it is. Well, good thing I KO'd the hands. Because if they knock me out, we get to Ogre Pond KO, and there's, like, there's not really a good target for the Baton. Oh, it's not a knockout. Oh, farmed. Okay, I'm chilling. Kind of. We still need to find bugs. That's that's not what I'm looking for. Come on, Teal Dance. Give me a tarantula, please. Come on. One time. That's... Bro. What do you mean, dog? All right, we can knock him out. They can kill with Maridon, but we're still in a pretty good spot here, I think, even if they do KO me. But I need bugs, bro. Where's my bugs at? Are we going to get some bugs here? We got a... Sp okay, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, the vacuum would have been nice, like, a turn ago. Did they not even... Wait, did they fail the Heavy Baton? Lamau. Ooh, that's not good. That lets them get another Iron Hands down, which is a little spooky. I mean, they could get Mew. Okay, well, the problem is now they have no Pokemon to power up. This doesn't really matter, actually. Are they going to get an Iono? I'd be very surprised if they didn't get, like, a Supporter here, to be honest. They should find one eventually. Question is, will it be an Iono? Hmm. Let's see, let's see. Cause like the problem is I go I just knock out Maridon and they have no like response. I think I'm still fine. Unless they have a Thornton in their deck or something. Then things can get awkward. I don't know if they're playing psychic energy, but even if they attack with the crown, it's not very good. Okay, they did draw research, which is fine. It's not an Iono. Uh, would it be okay to get Ionoed here? Honestly, I, maybe at this point it's fine to get Ionoed. I don't even know. I mean, they have no guy in play, like no hands, right? That's why I think counter catching the hands there was correct. And it paid off in the end, it looks like. So I think we're chilling. This could get awkward, though, if I don't draw something soon, depending on what they have left in their deck. Ooh, there is a Psychic Energy. It's only active, right? Okay, so they can't... I'm just making sure they can't, like, do extra damage to my bench. Oh, they can kill Tarantula, though, because that's 50 HP. <laughs> okay, honestly, I think at this point, I think Ogre Pond is our main attacker. I don't even know if we need a... Actually, I don't even think I should have benched that, right? I'm trying to think, do I want a vacuum here? I don't really think it matters, right? shouldn't matter. If I bench a Tarantula, they kill with this guy. Okay, sure, we'll vacuum. I don't think it matters. We'll play the vacuum anyways. I don't think there's a better tool they can put on at this point. So, should be okay. Ooh, we hit the stamp. Let's go. All right. Grab another ogre upon how much energy do I have left in the deck? Ooh, I'm out of energy. I still have rod, though. And energy switch. Okay. Grab this anyways, and we'll stamp him. They have Mew, but, I mean, they have a nine-card hand. There's no reason not to stamp. Okay. Bit of thinny never hurt anyone. Knockout. Actually, yeah, it's fine. Because benching the Ogre Pond doesn't make a difference, because I have Energy Switch plus Super Rod, and I already had a thing in play that can't retreat anyways, because I don't have energy. It should be okay. Pal Pad's pretty solid. That helps a little bit. Get back boss or something. All right. Stamp and pray. Let's see. They're down seven. They're down nine energy. And they play, what, 13? I don't know how many energy they play. This is close. I mean, we struggled to put bugs in play the entire game. Thankfully, we didn't really need it as much as I would have expected. So let's see if they have anything here. Can they stop Ogre Pond? I'm pretty sure they can't attack this turn on my Ogre Pond. Other than with the Iron Thorns or Crown. And then I just win the game. Let's see if they have... Okay, I was kind of worried they would have a gust because I don't have any energy left. I have to find energy switch. Still okay, though, I think. As long as I can't build up an iron hand for, like, two turns and amp this thing for a game. Okay, they do an Arvin. Do they even have anything they can grab, though? I don't know. 
I don't think so. Hmm. Let's see. Cow, it's fine. Techno radar plus future. Iono? Okay, sure. They do have another Iron Hands. All right. I can pal pad back boss. Oh, I don't have a boss yet, actually. I just pal pad double research back. It's fine. They have a dead hand anyways, most likely. Uh, we'll see. There's another energy. Do they have a generator? But they're they're down 10 of their energies. Like, they don't, they surely don't have that much energy left. No shot, right? So I need to find energy switch or super rod. None of those are super rod energy switch. So I definitely don't need to put a spite ops in play, right? I don't even know. I mean, actually, is a potential win con? Nah, we can't trap him. I have less cards in the deck. I'm pretty sure we don't need to put a spite ops down. I'm like thinking about it more. I'm pretty sure it's not necessary. Energy switch and rod are in there. We have switch too, which also would work. Okay. It's pal pad. World's greatest Iono. I'm not going to mention Trancha. I don't want to give him an easy prize with twin shuttles. It's not it. Can't pass. I'm not going to shuffle the deck because we put research back in. I mean, they still might not be able to attack. I also put their other future booster capsule at the bottom of the deck there with the Iono for what it's worth. Maybe if that matters. This is intense, man. Ooh, this is intense. Can they draw any cards with Mew? Let's see. Their hand could be clogged. Best case scenario, that's Iono Me too. Okay, they had Vacuum. But they have to lose another energy now. Hold up. 4, 7, 11. Well, that's 11 energy they're down. Yeah, 7, 12 energy, actually. Yeah, they're on 12 energy right now. That's really good. Generator, uh-oh. No, it gets an energy. 13 energy. That should be their last energy. Pokey Gear. Uh oh. Does that have an Arvin? They could win this, actually. No, I. Can they amp for game? Crap. They actually might win this turn. Oh, no. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have benched the Ogre. Oh, no. They have another energy and a generator. I actually, just lose. They can amp for game. They need to find a switching card, but they should probably be able to do that. Uh oh. I actually think I might lose here. Holy smokes. No shot. Okay, they pass. It's not good. Oh. Got the research. Let's go. Okay, now at this point, I think it's fine to get this guy. Glad I didn't shuffle the deck. <sighs> what do we got? All right. I don't think that's enough, though, right? They haven't played Prime Catcher yet. Oh. This is definitely not a KO, obviously. Okay, we have Super Rod. Can they win with Amp? 140... 60, 80, 200, 220. They just have another energy in the deck. They win the game by amping. That's not good, bro. If I could bind down here, we might have had a shot of winning the game. Trap him in the active and then knock him out with Ogre Pond. If I hit switch there, I could have went switch. And then I could have trapped this thing. Doesn't matter what I go into. There's no spite ops left. Okay, might as well go into this. I think they have game in hand. They probably have prime catcher energy for game. They can also just KO the Ogre Pond and I lose anyways. I think this is GG's no matter what. I don't have enough energy left to get anywhere. I think they have me no matter what. Generator. Okay, that fails. But like if they just have prime catcher, they can just arm press my Ogre Pond with four energy on it and I just lose. That's why I needed the switch there. Then I could have still powered up the Ogre Pond 3 energy. It's not looking good. If they whiff, I can start trapping this thing with Bind Down, and then I can just blow it up with this or something. All right, they do have a 14th energy. <sighs> do they have Prime Catcher, though? I, that's crazy. We might lose this game. Boss, no! Ah, no. Do they have the Switch? They may not have the Future Booster. Okay, they don't have it. If I draw energy, we win. Oh, we won. Let's go. We got there. That was close. Holy crap. All right. Close call for sure. That was a very intense match. Honestly, the reason why we almost lost, we just couldn't get a good board established fast enough. That was the issue. 
had I been able to get like a better board state going, I think it would have been a lot better off. But yeah, we got a little like unlucky. Our draws weren't very good. Like it took a while for me to even find a buddy Poffin. Um, and they almost made an insane comeback happen, which is nuts. All right, and there you go, folks. That is the Spite Ops Ariados deck in action. A really fun bug spider combo here. It's going to give your opponents arachnophobia for sure with Spite Ops' annoying ability. It's a fun, like, troll deck, and I did enjoy it. I think I would make some changes to the list. I think maybe we should play one copy of Retrieval, um, Superior Retrieval. I definitely think we also need to maybe play um, potentially a Jamming Tower or two could be kind of cute. Maybe even cut down the Ariados. Maybe 3-3 three three is a little overkill. Um, it is nice to have the one prize decker, but maybe you can go down to a 2-2 Ariados line. I just like being able to flood the board with that retreat trap play. Maybe you could even play like a Pidgeot V in the deck if you really want to try to trap the opponent out of the game completely. So there are some cards I definitely think could be changed about this list. For what we work with though, I think we did a good job showing off the power of this deck. And cards like Bug Catching Set really do elevate the deck a lot. Just more grass support is really, really nice for this deck. Makes it easier to attack with your stuff. I think a third energy switch is also very much warranted in this deck also. But yeah, that'll be for me on my Spide Ops deck. If you enjoyed the video on Spide Ops Ariados, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe down below. Help me on the road to reaching 60... 3,000 subscribers, and also check out my second channel down below for some extra content. I've won three tournaments in a row with my Dragapult Charizard deck, so definitely check out the uh, second channel's recent video down below if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the video. Bye-bye.